this is 2022. And what I want you to do is practice being your future self today. Doesn't need to be every day. Doesn't need to be all the time. But I would like you guys to start thinking and start getting in the mindset, myself included, Jeremiah included. He's a rock star. So I know you're probably already there being your future self all the time. But what we forget sometimes is that we get caught up in the present. We get caught up in what has to happen right now. We get caught up in who we are today and not focusing on doing habits, activities, tasks, even just practice that will help our future self. And so what do I mean by that? There's two things, you know, I'm big on clarity that we want to clarify. Who do I want to be and where do I want to go? All right. If there's two questions that you ask yourself, I think this year, I think those are two of the most important questions. Who do I want to be and where do I want to go? And once we know who you, who I want to be and where I want to go, now you can start putting together actions, habits, behaviors, routines, to be able to form into that person because you might not be who exactly who you want to be today. All right. And so, right, like I said, again, we want to forget about the present. And this is the trick is sometimes it might feel incredibly unproductive. You might say, Hey, I have a thousand emails to do. I have to get calls. I got to send my email sequences. I got to set up my website. I got to da, 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 da. No, forget about it. So what happens with our brain is we just get caught up and I've talked about busy work before we get caught up and oftentimes it's not helping our future self, these little things that happen on our day-to-day -day basis. So where are you setting time aside and where are you practicing the habits for ultimately who you want to be? And I would think of a really good example would be, I want to be healthy. I want to be strong. I want to be fit. And then thinking, okay, what would an, a healthy person do? What would an athlete do? What would a person who is really fit, what would they do? And then just start doing those activities, making those choices. Jeremiah, what are your thoughts on this? You know, it made me think of the way that we show up for meetings and there's a, yeah. there's a direct correlation. This is pretty heady stuff. And sometimes it's hard to, you know, unpack this and be like, hey, what does it mean for me now? So let's take, let's take a version of this and, and look at the day to day. So let's say you're about to have a meeting and you had a crap day, okay? Let's say you're knocking the rust off of, you know, uh, the, the new year. Uh, you know, you took the last two, year, two weeks off. You're showing up. You're, you know, you're kind of out of your game. What you can do is, uh, is look at the future self. And let's mm -hmm. say you're a, an advisor who's doing 20000 a month, okay? And your goal mm -hmm. is to get to 40000 a month. How would the forty k a month advisor show up to this call? Yes. Yeah. Right. What would be their tonality? How confident would you be? What does that 40 K a month advisor sound like? How do they present on camera? Mm -hmm. What are the questions that they ask? How confident are they in asking for the sale? And mm -hmm. when you ask yourself that question, all of a sudden, like you said, Eve, the present doesn't matter because we're acting yeah. in our future self. And many mm -hmm. times what happens as financial advisors, as insurance agents, we act like the advisor who's only making 10K a month or 5K a month, or I just got started, I'm making no K a month, right? We act like that person. We figure, well, when I'm making that 50K a month, I'm going to be a lot different. No. You know, one of my earlier mentors taught me, fake it till you make it, right? Yeah. So, and, and putting yourself in that future self, Eve, is so key. So that's why I'm really grateful that you decided to hone in on this for today. Yeah, you've exactly nailed it. And so what I would do is, and I do this all the time, is think, okay, even if, I, if, you, even if you can't picture who your future self is, picture a person who you would like to be or a level, exactly like you said, a level that you'd like to get to, what would that person do? How would they act? What would their video look like? Would it be professional or would it be kind of like up the nose in some weird office with a blank wall? What, you know, so this is now, okay, how do we start presenting ourselves and putting ourselves in the shoes of our future self and who we want to be right now?